The school garden provides a stimulating surrounding for pupils to learn about the natural world, but before they begin work in the garden, care should be taken to provide a safe working environment for pupils. Pupils should always be supervised when working in the garden. Clear instructions should be given to pupils before they start their gardening sessions. Point to the point, yeah. So use the point. Pupils should wear suitable outdoor clothing and footwear and wear gloves, if possible, to protect their hands. Garden tools like spades and shovels can cause injuries if not used safely. Before starting work in the garden, pupils should be shown how to use and carry tools safely, as well as how to store them when not in use. Um, for instance, um, have, uh, have you heard of Snow White and Seven Dwarfs? Yeah. I hope, I hope. It's okay. If they all walked to their mine with all their tools over on their shoulders, they would end up in hospital before they got there. So, can you demonstrate how to ca carry a tool? Yeah, exactly. Just carry it with the face down and walk and don't run. And do we do that? No. No. And do we do that? No. No. With every tool, just work out a method of using it. So uh, one of the good things to do with tools is make sure they're all lent against the wall when we're not using them, OK? Pupils should be given clear instructions on how to use tools like secateurs and loppers. And make sure you're not near anybody else or anybody else's fingers, hands, ears or noses whilst you're using them, OK? Pupils should always be supervised in the garden when using these tools. Pupils with asthma or allergies should take care when working on or near compost bins. Pupils should be instructed to ask for help if lifting very heavy items in the garden and to seek help if necessary. Water holds a particular fascination for young children. Whether the water is held in a garden pond or a bucket, a young child will always investigate. So ensure that pupils are supervised at all times. Ensure that health and safety guidelines are adhered to. Keep emergency numbers close by. There should be a first aid kit available near the garden. And finally, pupils should always wash their hands after spending time in the garden. Please refer to the worksheet on safety for further information.